Well, hello there, watching the press preview, a first look at what's on the front pages. In the next half hour, we'll see what's making the headlines with the Daily Mail. <laughs> You're still chatting. Daily Mail's consultant editor, Andrew Pearce, so the Daily Mail's associate editor. We're so thrilled, back. aren't we? We are. But did they get unfurl the red carpet when you returned? Don't be ridiculous. Well, they would have we've been here on Monday. <laughs> yes, exactly. Which we are normally. Where were you? We were at the dreadful... Having fun at the Lib Dem conference. No, we were conference. the dreadful <laughs> Lib Dem conference, which most people probably didn't notice happened, but believe me, it did, Including and I'm Lib still Dems. trying to get over the shock because yeah. it was so boring. So the, it's a warning to any party what happens when really? you get into bed with the Tories and afterwards, oh, it's awful. Mm. Um, should we discuss that? I don't think you've picked that, have you? There are no Lib Dem stories on your list, but anyway. Well, he apparently made his confidence speech today. Did you notice, Tim it, was, it wasn't a bad speech, actually, oh. but the problem is you've only got, what, as many MPs as the Ulster Unionists. You don't get as much attention. They can all fit in that Mazda bongo yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, it's a long way down from power. Mm, and a long way up, isn't it, certainly? Mm. A cartoon says so much. Mm -hmm. Kevin and I had mm -hmm. the misfortune to go to the Liberal Democrat <laughs> conference. Viewers may not realise it was it, really. on this week, but yeah. it was. It, it was. was in Bournemouth. Uh, the press room, you could have fitted in Concord into the press room. And I counted... Small plane Concord, nine, actually. I counted nine journalists in the press room. It was deserted. It, and Tim Farron made a speech. And um, Actually, actually, it was a, I, didn't, I wasn't there today for his speech. No, it, was a good, it was a good speech. You I mean, both it's, left it's a, early. It's yes. a, it's a battle. I left on Monday morning. It's a battle, Greg. But, but having got there on Sunday morning, when you've gone from 56, <laughs> 57 MPs to eight, you were in government. You were part of the coalition. Mm. Now you've got as many MPs as the Ulster Unionists. You could fit in them all in a Mazda, uh, Mazda Bongo. You are in serious trouble as a party, and it felt like that. And they're having trouble adapting. And it was. It was quite amusing, really, to watch them arguing about the finer points of green policy to get motions changed. When you thought, this is nobody's meaningless listening. Now. No, I think meaningless. Nobody's but really listening either, because, of course, the, the shenanigans in Comrade Corbyn's uh, administration yeah. is far mm. more interesting than anything this party of eight and is trying to do. And you're heading there, presumably, at the weekend? Oh, yes, I'll stay for longer. Okay. <laughs> It'll be great fun. Yeah.